All right, Mars through the sign series. Last but not least, Mars and Pisces. I'm going to be discussing Mars and Pisces in this video. I'm going to be talking about Mars and Pisces people, everything you need to know about them and how they are. All right, let's discuss. Now, when you have Mars and Pisces, this is similar to having Mars in the 12th house. So if you were to read and study up on Mars in the 12th house descriptions, a lot of that information applies to you and a lot of that information resonates with you. OK, so that's Mars in the 12th house descriptions. Now, Mars does not function well here as Pisces is associated with being unclear, unsure and confused. See, Mars is aggression. It's about where you're directing your energy. It's about fighting. So Mars doesn't like being in Pisces because Pisces is not associated with aggression and clarity and focus. Pisces is associated, associated with being unclear, unsure and confused. So that's the reason why Mars does not really like being here. Mars and Pisces people, these people give off the energy of someone that is spiritual, imaginative, impressionable, compassionate, and selfless. See, this is when they're operating at a higher level. These people give off great energy. They give off the energy of someone that is spiritual, imaginative, impressionable, compassionate, and selfless. All right. Now, when operating at a lower level, they can also give off the energy of someone that is deceptive, delusional, and confused. This is when operating at a lower level. Okay, so when operating at a lower level, they can give off the energy of someone that is deceptive, delusional, and confused. Like, this is how people see you. It's like, man, you're, this person is just sneaky. They're delusional, and they're just so confused. They don't even know who they are. They have no direction. Okay? Mars and Pisces people, they direct a lot of their physical energy into chasing their dreams and into spirituality. OK, so this is when you're operating at a high level and you're expressing the best of Mars and Pisces. You're directing your energy into chasing your dreams and you're directing your energy into spirituality. Mars and Pisces people, they direct a lot of their energy into escapism. They have to be careful and watch out for drug and alcohol abuse. OK, it's not uncommon for these people to abuse drugs and alcohol. OK, because their physical energy is directed towards escapism. Pisces is associated with escapism. Mars and Pisces people, they can be passive, lazy and misguided with no direction. They're attracted to nice feet and they're attracted to someone with Pisces like energy. Basically, someone that is selfless, impressionable and compassionate. All right. These are the type of people that they're attracted to, especially sexually. OK, so that's Mars and Pisces people. Let's do a recap. Mars and Pisces natives, this is similar to having Mars in the 12th house. Mars doesn't function well here. These people give off the energy of someone that is spiritual, imaginative, impressionable, compassionate, and selfless. And this is when operating at a higher level. Now, they can also give off the energy of someone that is deceptive, delusional, and confused when operating at a low level. They direct a lot of their physical energy into chasing their dreams and into spirituality. This is operating at a high level. You're functioning at your best with this placement. These people, they direct a lot of their energy into escapism. They have to watch for drug and alcohol abuse. They can be passive, lazy, and misguided with no direction. Again, this is operating at a lower level. They're attracted to nice feet, and they're attracted to someone with Pisces-like energy. Someone that is selfless, impressionable, and compassionate. All right? That's Mars and Pisces people. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, thank you for watching. Take care.